honorable ambassadors council generals the diplomats from foreign missions my colleagues in the state state cabinet industry doyens business leaders and representatives officials from the state government ladies and gentlemen a very good morning to you all it's a proud moment to announce that the state has received 340 investment proposals with an investment of about 13 lakh crores <laughs> providing employment to almost 6 lakh people across 20 sectors distributed all along the state as of today post my speech we are going to execute 92 mous with an investment of about 11.85 lakh crores giving employment to almost 4 lakh people the remaining 248 mous will be executed tomorrow i.e. 4th march 2023 with an investment of about 1.15 lakh crores and an employment to almost 2 lakh people marke investments such as reliance group adani group aditya billa group renew power arvind group daikin ntpc iocl jindal group mondelez parley for the oceans shri cements wellspun to a name to name a few shall be setting up their businesses and expanding their businesses in andhra pradesh and i take this opportunity to thank them personally on behalf of the state of andhra pradesh i extend a warm welcome to you to the andhra pradesh global investors summit 2023 and i also thank you all for being part of this event at the outset i wish to point out that this summit today through this summit today we would like to communicate to the domestic and international investor community we would like to communicate to them that you mean a lot that to us you are important and this we would like to communicate this day through this summit we would like to convey this day our strengths the diverse opportunities the state has to offer the state's business friendly environment its robust infrastructure the state's emphasis on healthy competition and innovation and above all our commitment towards sustainable long term growth through your partnership i'm extremely happy to host this event in visakhapatnam a city that has emerged as a strong economic hub with the presence of multiple public and private sector units port led infrastructure a metex zone and a tourist hot spot the city known not only for its industrial strengths but also for its picturesque beauty and serene landscape it gives me great pleasure to host the event in this beautiful city the year 2020 23 
It's an important year for India. As the country is hosting the G20 summit in September with the theme, One Earth, One Family, One Future. I'm sure that India's G20 presidency under the visionary leadership of Sri Narendra Modi ji would be a defining moment for us. The city of Visakhapatnam is also hosting one, one of the most important G20 work, working committee meetings as well. India is one of the fastest growing economies in the world. India has also demonstrated immense resilience and has emerged as one of the top destinations for foreign direct investments as well. The state of, the, uh, the state of Andhra Pradesh is one amongst the leading states driving the growth story of India. The state is blessed with several inherent strengths including abundant natural resources, mineral wealth, a 974 kilometer coastline and so forth. The state, is so, the state also possesses a robust infrastructure with six operating ports and four more under development. Six airports spread across the state, of which three are international airports as well. Three of the 11 industrial corridors being developed in the country are coming up in the state, housing 10 industrial nodes with a number of leading educational institutions, strategic locational advantages, abundant industrial land bank, skilled youth, a thriving industrial and business ecosystem, and above all, a proactive government with an enabling policy framework makes the state an attractive destination for your investments. Andhra Pradesh has achieved a year-on-year -year GSDP growth rate of 11.43% in the financial year 2021-22, which was the highest in the country. Further, in the last three years, the exports from our state have also increased at a compounded annual growth rate of 9.3%. Our endeavor for sustainable progress was also recognized by Niti Aayog, which rated the state number three in its SGD India Index rankings for 2020-21 across social, economic, and environmental criteria. Our focus in the state has been on formulating several path-breaking reforms and initiatives to strengthen governance at the grassroots, improve business environment, promote policy stability, drive competitiveness, and enhance transparency to provide a low-risk investment climate. I'd like to highlight four key pillars on which the state government places utmost emphasis on.